Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Inspector tool for Google Earth Engine Python API. Before you can use the Inspector tool, you need to install the GE Map Python package. So if you haven't done that, uh, you can quickly Google GE Map uh, and then GitHub. Then you can get to my repo and scroll down to the installation section. So following instruction to install the package. And here I'm just going to show you because I already installed the package. I'm going to use Anaconda to uh, activate the Conda environment. So I show you, so this is the one, the Conda environment that I have installed the GEMAP package. So next I'm going to Conda activate. GEE, -E, and then you can type Jupyter Notebook to open the notebook, <coughs> and we can go from there. So next, I'm going to get into a folder. So this is where I st store all the Jupyter Notebook, and I can click to create a new Jupyter. Then I can change the name, uh, Inspector. So first of all, we can create a new uh, interactive map. So all we need to do is just uh, import GE map, okay, alt enter on your keyboard to execute, then we can create a map, so go GE map dot map, you don't need to put anything, and then here we're just going to display the map. <coughs> now you have this interactive map, um, so by default it's using the Google satellite base map, if you want more base map, you can just type map dot add um, base map, for example, and then, so we want the raw map, if you, can, if you want. <laughs> so, if you can, you can turn on the layer control to turn the layer on and off. So this is the most basic. If you see the button here, use inspector. If you check this one, right now, if you click, it won't show you anything because the inspector only works for Earth Engine data layers. So now we're using only the base map. Uh, those are not from the Google Earth Engine. So. Uh, there's nothing you can do with the base map. Again, base map are very nice, but you cannot do any analysis. Um, so that's why we want to bring in those engine data layers to do some uh, uh, analysis. So how can we do that? Uh, they, uh, of course, you need to know a little bit about Earth engine, but I have provided some example here. If you go to my repo, from here, if you click examples, notebooks, and I have an example here called GE Map Inspector. And from here, once you open, right, so um, you don't need to, we already create the map. So all we need to do, we can just copy this line of code. Or if you know how to write OS engine, you can directly write code. So, and then paste in here. Just to show, we uh, quickly go through this uh, few lines of code. So we're trying to get an, image from Google's engine. So this is the DM, SRTM. And we also trying to add a global land cover. And we also add a landscape image. And also, for example, here, uh, we're trying to add a, a feature collection. So basically, it's a, a US state uh, polygon of the boundary for the United States. And then you can set the visualization parameters, how you want to control the color, for example, for the DM. And then we add each individual layers uh, to the map. So we're going to add the DM, add the land cover, add the land set, and uh, add uh, uh, states, United States uh, swap file. Uh, not swap file, it's a freezer collection. And all you need to do is just hit one. Okay, so name EE is not defined. That means that we need to import the uh, uh, Earth Engine package. So you just put it at the beginning, import EE, and then hit one again. Then you should be good to go. So if you come back to here, if you see this one, so this data from Google's engine. So this you can use for computation, um, different from the base map. You can turn this on and off if you like, right? So this is the first one that we add. We're gonna turn off the layer here. So this is the SRTM, right? And uh, DM for the entire group. Uh, Lane cover, uh, land set seven. So this is the first color composite and then the United States polygon, right? And so now you can use the inspector tool to get the values of each layer. 
So all you need to do is just to check the use inspector checkbox. And then you can come back to the map in here. You can click any location. It's going to grab the values like uh, for each data layer. So the first one is elevation, right? Lane cover, different value of lane cover. And the lane set seven, for example, multi-spectral bands, you get the value for all um, the spectral bands. You can also get the information for the polygon like when you click and, and then you can see all the attributes for that specific area. You can zoom in uh, to any location you, that you like and you can get the value. Okay, so you, uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward, similar to the ArcMap Identity 2, right? So if you click outside uh, the polygon, here we only have the DM and the uh, lane set and the lane cover, so we don't have the, uh, it does not belong to the uh, visual collection, so you won't see that one, but if you click back here inside, for example, Texas, right? So you can see the area, the all the information. So this gives you a quick way to uh, get the information without having to write many lines of code to extract uh, extract uh, the values. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye.